lecture introduces a high balance tree named avial tree. So avial tree is actually introduced by three people named Adelson, Belsky and Landis. So that's the reason for calling this tree as avial tree. So let us define uh, avial tree. Avial tree is a balanced binary search tree in which each node must have a balance indicator either L, R or B. Let us define the balance indicator L. L actually stands for left heavy. So consider a subtree rooted at Y. It is having a left subtree rooted at X and a right subtree rooted at Z. And X is of height H plus 1 and Z is of height H. So if I, if I consider subtree, left subtree ruler at x, its height is h plus 1 and right subtree ruler at z, its height is h. Since left subtree is of height 1 greater than, exactly 1 greater than the right subtree, this node is said to be left heavy. Now we can define the balance indicator R. R actually stands for right heavy. So Y is having a left subtree rooted at X whose height is H and Y is having a right subtree rooted at Z whose height is H plus 1. So since right subtree is having height 1 greater than that of left subtree, no Y is said to be right heavy. So its balance indicator will be R. Next balance indicator is B which actually stands for balanced. So consider a subtree rooted at Y having a left subtree rooted at X with height X and a right subtree rooted at Z having height X. Since Y's both subtrees are of same height you can say that node Y is Balanced. So if it is possible to assign balance indicator either L or B to each and every nodes in the binary search tree, then you can call that binary search tree as avial tree. Let me introduce an example for avial tree. So as I said, avial tree is a binary search tree. So let the root node be 10. It's having a right subtree with key values greater than 10 and must have left subtree containing key values less than 10. So let the right side, right side will be 20, its right side will be 30. We can consider a left side, let the value be 7, which is less than 10. See we, so how do you define height of a node in a tree? So height of node is actually defined in terms of the length of longest path from that node to leave. For example, if you consider height of 7, length of longest path from 7 to leaf is 2, that is 7, 5, 1. As far as 7 is concerned, it is having 2 paths.
pass from 7 to leaf. One is 751 and another one is 79. And 751 is, of, is the longest path. So length of that path is 2 and you can say that height of 7 is 2. Again if you consider an empty tree that is uh, tree without any node. Then you can or a new tree. Height is fixed plus minus 1. And if you consider leaf node. Leaf nodes are having height 0. So height of leaf node is said to be 0 because it is having an empty left subtree and a right subtree. Let us try to assign balance indicators to each and every nodes in this binary search. This actually satisfies binary search tree property. That is left subtree is having key values lesser than the node and right subtree is having key values greater than the node and that property is satisfied for each and every nodes in the tree. Now let us take node 1. Its left subtree and right subtree are both empty trees. In the sense both are having height minus 1. Since both left subtrees and right subtrees are of same height, you can fix balance indicator as B. So for this reason you can fix balance indicator of all leaf nodes as balanced. Now what about node 5? If I take 5, height of left subtree, height of left subtree is 0 and height of right, right subtree is minus 1 which indicates that left subtree is of height 1 greater than that of right subtree and this node turns to left away. Now I can take node 7. Left subtree is rooted at 5 whose height is 1 and right subtree is rooted at 9 whose height is 0. Since left subtree is having height 1 greater than right subtree this node is left away. Now you can mark balance indicator of 20. So as far as 20 is concerned, left subtree is MD whose height is minus 1 and right subtree is 30, rooted at 30 whose height is 0. Since right subtree's height is 1 greater than left subtree's height, you can mark the balance indicator as R which stands for right away. Now you can consider note 10. So left subtree is rooted at 7 whose height is 2 and right subtree is rooted at 20 whose height is 1 and since left subtree's height is 1 greater than right subtree's height this node is said to be left area. So since it is possible to mark balance indicators either L or B to each and every nodes in this binary search tree you can call this binary search tree as avial tree. Again if you, if you analyze this tree the height difference between the left subtree and right subtrees of each and every node is at most 1. You cannot identify a subtree rooted at a particular node with having subtrees with height difference greater than 1. In the sense for each and every node, left subtree and right subtrees will be of height difference at most 1 and in that way this tree balances the height. And that's the reason for calling avial tree as a height balanced tree. So avial tree is an example for balanced, height balanced binary search tree.